ni kwambo na unazibananisha sana it's not necessary support ikiwepo basi na resistance ikuepo kuna resistance wewe yeah. Sawa sio lazima afu sio lazima zikae karibu karibu na ukiona zimekaa karibu karibu unajua kuna tatizo sababu kuna resistance za muhimu na kuna vi resistance vidogo ambavyo vinavunjwa tu kwa lazima uangalie vile zile ambazo ni za muhimu yani ukiona kabisa uh, kuna mlima fulani hivi yani kuna kile level fulani sio hivi vilivyopinda kidogo unaona kuta bonde au mlima ambao yetu imesimama hiyo ndo wa iko very strong. Mm. Ya kama hapa chini unaona imetoka hivi, ikija ikaanza kwenda juu hapa chini, utasubiria the second touch unapata support. Au huko nyuma kunaweza kuvaa sawa. Na labda niulize kwamba mm. Hello. Nakusikia kwamba e, unapokuwa unachola sasa hiyo support kwa sababu ni nadhani point ya kwanza kabisa ni kuona support na kuepo wapi. Sasa mm. katika ile chati mkono wa kulia kuna kuwa una mstari fulani ambao unakuwa ni wa blue ambao unakuepo tu mwanzoni ile. Mm. Lazima support ifuatane na huo mstari au inaweza kuwa ukapishana. Ifuatane kwa vipi? Yaani U- huo mstari unaonyesha price ya sasa hivi ndio kwa hiyo uhusiane kabisa na support na resistance hata kidogo okay hauna mahusiano na ch- changamoto nilioiona ni kwenye hizi kendo hizi kuchola ndo kidogo inakuwa kidogo ina changamoto tofauti na ile market structure zingine haizi ucholi eh hizi unasubiri uione inavyoonekana ikuonyeshe kwamba una baya una sell. Kwa hiyo hauchori. Ndio. Unasubiri ionekane. Candlestick. Ya candlestick okay. wewe uweze hata ukaichola. Inajiprint yenyewe, inajichola yenyewe kwenye kwa trader. Okay. Mm. Kwa mfano katika hii inayoonekana hii katika muonekano wake itaashiria mimi moja kwa moja ningeona kwamba ina ina, ina sign sinaonyesha signs za kubai japo sijajua mwisho wa siku itakuwaaje ah hii yenyewe tu inakuonyesha kwamba uingie muda huo lakini unakuwa tayari ushaangalia vigezo vingine kama market structure breakout pullback sawa mm. kwa unasubiri kwa mfano hapo ulikuwa unasubiri pullback ndio yani hicho ndio they say this one ndio mkambia mara nyingi inatokana kwenye support si ndio ndio lazima uchole zone sio unachola tu tu missile yako tu twembamba tu ile mm. okay lazima <laughs> iwe pana ndio bwana anakwambia uwezo kaziweka karibu karibu unaona kama hii hii ni support yona, yona. hii ni support si ndio wewe ulikuwa unasubiria hapa yeah. ikifika hii price hapa ubai lakini Ulikuwa ujui ni kigezo gani utakitumia kubai, si ndio? Ndio. Kwa hiyo kigezo ambacho kitakwambia kubai itakuwa ni nini sasa? Ni hiyo hama kendo. Okay. Hii kendo maelezo yake ni short ni hivi. Unaweza kusema kwamba Unaweza kusema hivi, you see, uh, ni kwamba price ilikuwa ili, 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 ili respond kama ifuatavyo, sawa? Price ni kwamba hii hii unaona ni ya kijani maana ni bullish candlestick. Sawa? So, maana yake this kind of candle ni kwamba ili open hapa. Sawa? So, at this level ikaja Ndiyo. ikafunga wapi? Ikaja ikafunga huku juu. Sawa? So, kama ili open hivyo so, it means sasa ina open vipi hapo inafunga hapa. That means kwamba lazima ili open ikarudi chini ndio ikaprint hii week kama isingekuwa wiki ndo tungesema ime open hapa ikafunga ikaenda juu lakini inaonekana ilienda chini kwanza therefore ili ive open hapa yani badili rangi hapa kwa hiyo hii ili ive open hapa sawa ilishuka chini paka hapa 
ilishuka chini kwa nini? Nilikwambia ukiona kendo inashuka chini maana yake sellers wana nguvu, wana push. Most of the guys mm. kwenye market mda huo wana sell. Mm. Baada ya kuwa wamepush hadi hapo, sasa hii kendo nimekwambia ili close huku juu, haiku close hapa chini. Nene haija close hapa chini. Sawa? Eh yeah, close juu. That means buyers waliingia sokoni. Buyers walifanyaje? Buyers waliingia yeah, sokoni. sokoni. Waliingia sokoni baada ya our sellers kwa wamepush hadi hapo. Those buyers ndio walikuja wakapush soko mpaka wapi? Mpaka huku ndo maana soko likafunga huko juu. Can you see sasa kwamba kumbe hii kendo yote hii ni ni like ni mwili wa nini wa buyers tu. Kwa buyers wamepush kutoka chini mpaka juu. That yeah, means kumbe yeah. we can we can buy kwa sababu inaonekana sasa buyers wana take over kwa hiyo we can buy. Buyers wana push soko juu, sellers wana push soko chini. Hayo ni maneno ambayo lazima uyaandike kama ni mrahisi kusahau. Okay. Umeelewana mpaka hapo? Yeah, na kuelewa. Yeah, that's why uh, hapo nikoja ku... Mhm. Mm na labda ulivochora hiyo hiyo support Mm. Market na kitu kidogo nimejifunza na ningekuwa ni mimi ningeikosea. Mm. Swali langu la msingi ni kwamba hiyo support lazima ifate ile stick ilipoishia. Ya yeah, yeah, alafu yeah. okay. Ndio ipande juu. Okay, nishakuelewa. Ya, ndio ipande juu. hapo eh. Hapo tupo sambamba. Ya kwa me... Kendo nyingine ni kinyume chake ambao ni inverted. Ambao ni inverted ndenyeo hii inverted maana yake inageuzwa. Sawa? So, inageuzwa so, lakini still you have to to buy. Sawa? So, kwa hii ndio. Yeah. Uh -huh, so. Hii yenyewe inageuzwa tu. Kwa hiyo lakini inakuwa na maana ile yenyewe <coughs> ya ku buy. Tumeelewana baba? Buy ndio. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Na pengine okay. hapo support itakaje? Hapo unachola yani ni zone and therefore you can just draw like this. Unachola hivi tu. Muone? Yani hivi unene unatofautiana mwingine ataweka hivi mwingine hivi ila sio hivi inakuwa too much sasa sawa hata hapa nachola makubwa because mikendo pia ni mikubwa ila bila shaka umeziona zile zone ambazo mimi nazichola kwenye zile chat ambazo nimekuwa eh ni sahihi yeah so okay so atutumii mistari unavochola support na resistance unatumia sahihi zone hata hapo chini kuna nini kuna support. Kwa kama ni kwenye support tunategemea lazima itabai. Hii inaitwa engulfing. Hii is very very useful. Yaani moja ya kendo ambazo zinatumika sana ni hizi. Nilikwambia the more, more mwili unakuwa mkubwa the more kendo usika inakuwa strong. Kama ni bullish maana yake buyers wanakuwa na nguvu sokoni. Kama ni bearish kwa hiyo sellers wanakuwa na nguvu sokoni. Buyers wakiwa na nguvu sokoni watapush soko juu. Na sellers wakiwa na nguvu sokoni watapushi soko chini. Okay. Yeah. So that means kwamba uh, same kama hii. Uh, ukichola. Mm. Lazim kwanza itatokea kwenye maeneo za itodio, kwenye maeneo ya support. Na tukachora hivi. This is your support, okay? So, umesubiri price na ishuke chini. Sawa? Mm. Lakini umesha umeshafanya analysis yako from the market structures na other categories kwa gundua kwamba soko litarudi chini, lakini ilikuwa kwenye zone hapa litafanyaje litapanda juu? Lakini ujajua sasa itapanda juu vipi, si ndio? Ndio. Yeah. Hiyo some indicators ambazo zinaweza zikaonyesha uh, kuna fibo na chambo tutaangalia pia unaweza kutumia candlestick patterns kama hapa. Ha, unaweza kaona hizo candle mbili ambazo zimeungani zimezungushiwa. Mm. 
haiwezi kasimama moja ukaita ingafing yani ingafing lazima ziwe mbili kwamba moja imekuwa ingaft na ile ya kwanza you see hiyo ya kijana ambao mm. ni bullish candlestick imemeza yeah. yule mwekundu kwa nyuma yake sawa kabisa yeah imemeza yule wa nyuma that means kwamba imesha overtake imemo overtake yule mwekundu and therefore bullish sasa ndo strengths ku, ina nguvu kuliko bias yeah. and therefore yeah. utasubiri funge hiyo kendo ambayo ni ingafing then you buy because tayari ulikuwa umefanya analysis ambazo zilikuwa zinasubiria tu ujue ni wapi utabai stop loss okay. yako utaiweka chini ya hiyo zone okay so stop loss means unaiweka huku chini take a profit na depend na the previous uh market like structure au candlestick formations okay sawa so, bila shaka kumenielewa so this signifies bye hapo nimekuelewa hii na labda kulipo kuna ongelea kulipo kuna ongelea kuso take profit take mm. profit inakuja katika ile market structure ambayo ilipanda lakini yani ipo karibu na, na na pale unapotarajia kuiweka ipo karibu kwa maana ipi yani, Yaani kwa maana kwamba structure imepanda sana juu lakini e, kutoka hapo nilipochola sijaenda juu sana. Yaani napopanda ndo naanzia na kufikia kabla kufika maximum juu. Ndio ni hapo ni take profit. Kwa ngumu kukuelewa. Este una una market structure kama hii hapa, sawa? Kwa shumu hapa ilitengenezwa market structure kama hii. Yaani kutengeneza hapa. Foreign wage. So, yeah. Lafu, we had uh, something like. Tuseme tulikuwa na hapa tuna zone yetu hapa kwa chini. Ndio. Kwa kawaida hizi yeah. this thing ilianzia hapa labda, si ndio? Kwa yeah. kwa suna labda ili, 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 ili toka huku ilitoka huku chini sijui si ndio ikaja hapa so, hapa ndio ikatengeneza hapa ndio itakuwa na key level si ndio simetokea chini lazima yeah. maeneo ndio kutakuwa na key level yani kama ime, imetoka huku chini sawa alafu ikaingia huku hivi kwa namna hii hapa ndio kutakuwa na key level sawa so, if this is so, the key level that means utaweza kuchola zone hapa si ndio kama hapa itavunja wewe utasubiri breakout ya hapa si ndio hapa itoke nje ya hii zone sawa afije then utasema bye kwa kitu kama hiki hapa ambacho nakiona hapa unategemea ukione hapa ili ubai si ndio sawa so, profit yako itakuwa hapa sasa kwenye key level hapa then your stop loss itakuwa hapa chini umeelewa okay so Yeah that is the point. Bila shaka umenielewa hapo. Eh nimekupata. Tunaangalia bullish bullish sasa hivi tutaenda bearish pia tutaziangalia. Kwa kuna bearish kuna ingafing ambazo zinageuzana. Na uh, hii ni kinyume cha dark cloud cover. This is mm. iki ni kinyume cha dark cloud cover. Inajulikana kama pricing candlestick pattern it is the bullish yeah. candlestick ngalia mechanism behind uh, kuna very strong red body katika baya ya kwanza ambayo mara nyingi ni bearish okay tumezitumia kama bearish mnyekundu afu kijani tumezitumia kama bullish ambayo ni the second bar okay yeah uh, pia inamaanisha reversal kama ambazo za nyuma umeziona kule zote zile ni reversal sasa how do you know that reversal sasa hivi imebadilika? Kwa mfano, sheria ya kwanza most of this easy body zote mbili lazima ziwe na the same size. Maana yake hawa jamaa wana the same yeah. strengths. Wana strengths ambazo inafanana, sawa? Mm. Sasa ukiangalia vizuri, 
uh, sehemu kama hii maana yake lazima ujue price inafungulia wapi yani lazima ujue vitu kama hivyo ni basic ni vitu basic ambavyo lazima ujue kwa mfano price kama hii it means ilifungulia hapa sawa ikaenda juu to this level mpaka mwi, to the highest point sawa then ika push chini to this level sawa alafu mm. ikaenda tena juu ndio ikaje kafunga hapa so ili open at this point ikaje kafunga at this point baada ya ikuwa imefunga huyu jamaa alikuja akafungua at this point okay baada ya kuwa amefunguka hapa anaanza kutengenezwa alirudi chini kidogo afsellers waka buyers wakaja wakapush kutoka chini huku to this level mm. sawa so, then sellers wakapush kidogo tu to this level ikafunga okay sawa so, sasa kama hicho ndo kitu ambacho kilitokea what are we expecting uh, tunacho ki expect hapa ni kwamba because the bullish candle ambayo ni ya kijani kulikuwa na the same body yeah. kama ambao previous ambayo ni bearish na ili move ikapita kwenye 50% ya candle ambayo ni bearish si ndio ndio eh mimi kabisa it means kwamba kuna pressure kubwa ya price kwa upande wa bullish and therefore if price what will happen price itaendelea to rise sababu so, buyers wanakuwa na nguvu wame overtake 50% ya huyu wa kwanza and therefore bullish movement is what will dominate mm-hmm. kwa hiyo pia ina signify buy japokuwa this thing kama hii pricing candlestick they are not so so ni ngumu sana kukuta eti the previous candle ina mwili the same ina in the same week ni mm. rare sana okay okay si kama umenielewa hapo Of course hapo nimekuelewa. Mhm. Nimekuelewa. Okay. Sana basi. Tatafuta nafasi nifanye revision na more practice. Okay, good night. Okay, the same to you.